Today we're gonna take a look at some of the latest add-ons for Blender. These add-ons range from effects, particle generators, modeling tools, productivity add-ons, and more. We're gonna kick off this list with all tabs pixel add-on. If you wanna create pixel art in Blender, this add-on will help you do that in a very short period of time. If you used to create pixel art in Blender using the remesh modifier, rendering your art in lower resolution, the pixel add-on will solve this problem by implementing a workflow of custom materials and lights. You can adjust the colors and the outline of each object, in addition to creating animated game sprites easily and creating GIFs, stickers, and entire environments. The sprite creation in particular is extremely powerful, as you can create a lot of things. From pixel art, now we're gonna jump to particle animations. The particle library is a huge, growing collection of pre-made, fully customizable particle animations made for Blender. The library is divided into 8 categories, and they have 50 animations to choose from. The list contains abstract, void systems, explosions, fire and sparks, paper and bags, paths, weather, and more particle systems that you can use for different purposes. All the particles can be edited to get exactly the effort you want. To use any of the particle systems, you just select a particle system by clicking the thumbnail and picking one from the list. You can preview the animation if you like what you see. You can hit import and add it to the scene as well. The library even includes pre-animated and textured 3D models to use with the animations and they work very well for both Cycles and Eevee. Next we have Visibility Set Filters, which is a Blender add-on that helps you keep track of the version history during a production workflow. The add-on can keep track of any object like geometry, cameras, lights, etc. or even collections similar to filtering inheritance. One use case of the add-on is to create multiple filters for your different production stages like concept sketch, the blocking stage, creating high poly meshes, and so on. You can create as many filters as you want and you can toggle between them seamlessly. For instance, a 3D modeler could work on a final high poly character and at the same time, he would have a grease pencil sketch for the character for storyboarding and another rig low poly character for animation. Additionally, another great feature that the add-on provides is the ability to carry filters through the Link Blender files and can work on any workspace, even VSE, which will use the viewport 3D or render setting. Now with modeling add-ons, we have Round Inset, which is a very handy tool that can help you inset inner and gun faces for your geometry. I can't remember how many times I tried to inset faces in Blender and all I end up with is an overlapping mess. The add-on fixes this problem by implementing a better inset function that keeps all the edges the same distance from the inner edges of the shape. The one big limitation with the tool now is that it only works with one face, so you can't select two faces at the same time, but hopefully it can be expanded in the next iteration. Still, this tool is super handy if you want to give it a shot. Now talking about hair, 3D Hairbrush is a powerful hair grooming tool for Blender. It includes a dedicated pie menu and a hair modifier with a long list of options like curve radius and a random diameter. The tool can distinguish complex muscle surfaces of your models, thus allowing you to have a great time grooming hairstyles in Blender using a plethora of well-designed brush presets. For example, using radius curve makes controlling hair shapes really easy, or diameter random, which makes it possible to randomize the thickness of hair on each particle system individually. This update of the 3D hairbrush introduced a long-awaited feature, which is modifiers. The modifier approach is extremely useful because you can stack modifier layers on top of each other until you get a good result. It's non-destructive as well, so you can always go back and adjust any particle system. The next one is exciting if you are a Unity game developer and you have been keeping up with the Unreal and Houdini's new procedural link where you can use the power of Houdini in Unreal. You might wish you had a similar procedural workflow with Blender. Well, Binging for Unity is trying to do just that. This tool will allow you to bring Blender geometry nodes into Unity, thus allowing you to enjoy the power of proceduralism in your game environments. In addition to that, Blender is much more user-friendly, which is a plus. And from what I can see, this is gonna be very useful in level creation. 
Some of Benjin's main features are procedural meshes generation, procedural instances generation, Unity material support, support for UVs and vertex colors, in addition to the ability to manipulate all the inputs straight out of the Unity UI. Now, if you like sci-fi stuff, Cyberdex is a library of sci-fi gadgets that you can kit pass together to create futuristic workstations. So basically, Cyberdex is a collection of K-Packs with which you can build your gadgets. First, you can use the connector object to stack screens and keyboards, and you can even save the creation as K-Pack to use it in another project. But to use these inserts, you need KitOps Pro the Heart Ops Edition or newer installed. You can still use them without hand points, but you will just have to adjust the position manually as Hardpoint snaps the parts together to a predefined point and makes it much easier to work with. With Cyberdex, you also get a sci-fi GUI, which are highly detailed images that you can overlay over the screen. If you are interested in these add-ons, you will find the necessary links in the description. I hope you found this video useful. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. You can also check some of our previous videos. Thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.